Good to see y'all as always. We got some family coming in real quick. But honestly, I want to start by just saying, like, man, everything is going really well right now with our program. You know, we still got a lot of work to do to finish where we want to be. But, like, Cody Schrader, like, he needs his roses, all his roses he can get, man. Like, his story is really, like, unbelievable and, like, remarkable. And, like, it's a blessing to be around Cody and his team. And like, we just got to keep working these next two weeks. And then, um, See what happens with Bo we get, but yeah, we just gotta keep going. But this is a positive direction. You know, I never beat Tennessee since I've been here, and that's five years. So this is a, a big win, and we just gotta keep going these next uh, two weeks. You're up 66 points last year, 62 points the year before. Yeah. Seven to today. I mean, I see yeah. a smile on your face. Like Man, that. I tell you that we owe the one because the past two years was. Bad, but now finally we ain't ever got to talk about that again because, you know, this is a new year, a new day. And um, now our defense, Coach Baker, did a tremendous job um, this week getting us prepared, tremendous job. All of our coaches with our different scheme, like we showed a three-down look, a four-down look, and that's all Coach Baker. He's working extremely hard for us. How much is that kind of, kind of like a bonus when you get a, when you get a pick six after you've done all that? Yeah. Work? It's rewarding, man, because in practice, you know, um, when we were struggling early in the season we, without getting takeaways, because Baker used to, we had to get four takeaways each period or we had to run. So to finally see it pay off in the game is tremendous. You know, Dalen Carnell, he's a magnet and, you know, he always finds the ball. And, but now it's definitely a lot of hard work paid off. I just think we came out just the whole motto this week was a stand on business. And I really think everybody, they came out, they stood on business, just being physical, being in your gap, uh, just playing hard. And also, like we know, like them past two years have been bad. So just use that little motivation and it just got us right. And, you know, we played hard, but like I said, like we still got so much more growth to make. And I know, like, it probably gets tired hearing us say that, but like, I'm for real, like, we're not, we still got more levels to reach in these next three weeks. And we just got to keep working. Oh, awesome. He had a great stream ball. Um, I actually call it Catfish. That's his nickname because he said, I forgot, it was in a team meeting, and they it was the picture of the ocean. And he somebody asked what fish they think it is, and he said Catfish. So I don't know how where he got that from, but no, nah, he's a great player, man. He's been showed us a spring ball. Obviously, like Tyron Hopper's here. But nah, he's been working, putting in the time and the effort. You know, like that's the future of Mizzou right there. And I'm glad you guys got to see him, you know. And we hope Tyron gets healthy because we know we need him. He's a huge part of our defense. But now nah, he was, he's been ready for this moment. From a defender's perspective, how does Cody kind of wear down defenses as the game goes along? Do you see him take the hit? Yeah. Back up? Is he, how do you view that when you watch it? Nah, he's. Not having He's just physical. I mean, like when you just continue to just run and run and you get back up, that's just it just puts a mindset on defenders like, am I really hitting them as hard as I can? Am I really in my gap like I need to be in? Cody works extremely hard, like from our lifts on uh, Monday and Wednesday. Cody's always pushing himself. And like I said, you know, he has an amazing story, like going from D2 to SEC leading Russia. Like, man, he's just working really hard and he's going to keep going. And that's the thing, we got to keep going. How uplifting is it, looking at from your side of the ball, end of the second quarter, the drive that he had the long the long run, which looked like he should have just gone to half. He gets the long run, then he gets down, and he gets three points. What's that mean for, for the, the spirit heading into the, the half? Oh, this feels, this feels great. You know, uh, Coach Drink always talks about the swing eight, which is the uh, last four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half. And he always talks about, he's a big statistic guy, if you guys didn't know. He always says our chance of winning are much higher when you can get stops on field goals and then come out to half and get another stop. But now I meant a lot because, like I said, our confidence was high and everybody was just playing really hard today. And, but now it gives us a lot of confidence to be able to get stops like that. Yeah. So far, how important was it to stack those kind of big plays on top of each other on both sides of the 
It was important because, like I said, like we needed that to win. We needed to finally play a complete game, offense, defense, special teams, just everybody be sound. And, you know, everybody's able to come together and work really hard and push for one another. So it's just, it was needed. And like like I said, this is our first time, like you said, first time playing complimentary football. And it's, what, what week is it? Week nine? Week 11. That's what I'm saying. We still got so, we too. We still got so much more work to do. And it's like, I'm going to really enjoy these next three weeks. But no, nah, it feels great hearing Coach Drink say that. Yeah, yeah. Well, sort of inspired that in, in the, in the he, enjoy, he deserves that. I mean, like, he, for somebody to go Division II football and then end up the SEC lead in Russia, like, it's a – what are the odds of that? And to actually do it here and I get to be his teammate and I'm a captain, he needs to enjoy that moment. That's only my job as a captain to uplift my teammates, and this is the biggest moment of the season for him personally. And then obviously as a team, we won, so he needs to enjoy all that. And, you know, we're going to make sure he get his flowers all week. But like I said, we're getting back to work because we still got more work to do these next three weeks. Curious, you talked about uh, uh, a couple weeks ago after you lost to LSU. Um, you said that you had to put in uh, extra work these next couple weeks because they were the last games you were going to play in your college career. Yeah. How has that work been implemented so far in practice, and what does it mean to now be 8 and 2? Yeah, it's been a lot. I think guys are really competitive and really pushing one another in practice. Like I said, Coach Baker makes it, you know, if we don't reach our goal, we're going to do condition. Like, it's going to be some type of consequence if we're not reaching our goals because we know what our standards is. And I just feel like for me personally, I've just been trying to, you know, rehab my calf, make sure I'm 100%, make sure my condition is good, and just take coaching because Coach Peoples has put me in a great situation this season. And, you know, I trust him, but also now I got to work really hard just to keep going each day. And I feel like our team has adapted that as well. Yeah, nah, that's what you got to do. You Number one goal each week is to stop the run. And I could tell, like, the second, third quarter, like, they didn't want to be out there no more with us. And it was just because we was just being so physical, just being on it, like, being gap sound. Our DBs play fantastic. Like, I love our DBs, like, the best. Like, because they make me able to pass for so much better because the quarterback got a hold because they're doing so much great coverage. And, you know, it's, it's awesome just to, just to, like, dominate. Like, for real, like, this this game, we dominated Tennessee. And, you know, they're going to remember that. And, you know, they got to take care of that next year. You know, I ain't going to be here. But, <laughs> uh, but I'm glad I was able to set that standard for for our team and just moving forward. But, no, we got after them today. Yeah, what do you think it says? You know, you just said it a dominant win. Did you respond to, to last week and have this kind of dominant win this week? You know, what does that say about this team? It says a lot. It says uh, STP, something to prove. You know, unfortunately, we didn't get it done last week, and that's heartbreaking because obviously we know if we want to win the SEC East, like it's going to have to be like some you know weird things happen, and that's okay because I know that we're working really hard and getting better and just trying to be one and zero each week, and whatever happens at the end is you know what happens. But it feels good to have a nice turnaround like that because like last week hurt for most definitely because everything you work for in one week is just possibly gone. But as long as we get back to work and everybody stays locked in these next three weeks, like we can finish how we want to. You're up Tennessee with 5-13 on third downs. What do you think you guys did well on those money downs and how prevent them from getting first Coach Baker. Coach Baker had the right guys in the right situation. That's why I say our DBs play great because a lot of times we was just only rushing three D linemen. So we got eight DBs, the linebackers, and they just was right where they need to be. And, you know, they're all great players. And like I said, Coach Baker, like, like when I tell you, like, he's worked so hard this week to get us prepared. Like, it's all Coach Baker just getting us lined up and then letting us just go play ball. All right.